How's it going, everybody? I am Reaper31 here, and it's time for more Manager Mode series on my channel. Today we are at Hellas Verona's ground. As you take a look at the table, they're up in ninth place. We are definitely struggling in, in 17th with only three wins on the season. We take a look at the Hellenist Verona lineup. 4-3-3. Always interesting to play against. And for Lazio, we still have a couple injuries uh, with uh, Anze and Honda. They're not quite fully fit, so Antic and Lombardi will be getting the start tonight. Oh, nice move for Fernandez. Take the shot. Oh, big save. Nice save by the keeper. Fernandez didn't really have a time to turn there. Yeah, exactly. Use your radar. That's a big save by the keeper. Oh, the header doesn't find the mark. Brevo, can he score against his former club? It's off the post. <laughs> Here's a replay of that Brevo shot. Oh, that was a nice strike. Just hit the woodwork. The shot, Marchetti, get rid of it. Oh, Zimpano nearly buried that loose ball. Marchetti tried to deflect it away, but it fell right to the center of the box. But luckily... We had it covered well. And that is it for the first half of play. A very uh, tight-knit match so far. Not a lot of chances on either end, but uh, we're hanging around. Nil-nil <laughs> at the break. <laughs> All right, can we stop this? Over the wall. Ooh, not a bad effort there from... The set piece. Just over the wall. Oh, that was in a good spot, too. Ah. Sprevo again. Take the shot. It's deflected. It's going to be another corner. Nice shot by Brevo. Just took a deflection on the way to the net. Uh, looking over the top. It's a Barbo. He's through. Finish it. Oh! And he sends it wide. That should have been an easy goal there. What a layoff. Over the wall. And a Barbo made a perfect run, but he failed to finish. Oh, Pereira. Nice run. Finish it. Oh, there it is. Beautiful finish. We get the goal. Herrera, the substitute coming on and finding the goal. Great pressure there to get that ball forward. And he finds the back of the net. Here's a replay of it. The lines were just all mixed match. And he took his time, waited, and he just buried it near post. Ah, there it is. There's the whistle. And we get the three points. It was a bit of a scrappy affair, but we managed to do a good job. We're very solid defensively this match. It was good to see. 1-0 the final. But here are the stats. Uh, we pretty much dominated the second half, I felt, even though we didn't really get a possession edge or we're making a lot of clean passes. But... Uh, we got a lot of good pressure there during the beginning of the second half. I got that goal and kind of sat back and played more counterattacking football. Pretty pleased with the result, actually. We played very well. Man of the match goes to Marchetti for getting the shutout. Uh, fair enough. I'm good with that. Uh, Para coming on, getting the goal was huge. He probably was the biggest factor in our victory, obviously, for getting that goal. We got the assist on that. Siglio, nice. All right, let's go on to the next one. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a rainy night in Rome. It's our final Europa League group stage match and the final one for us this season as we take on Young Boys. And you clearly see we've been knocked out. Uh, we're really fighting for third place in this matchup. Neither of us have wins in this group. 
And there's a Lazio lineup uh, playing our reserves today. Getting some guys some playing time out there. Off. Chipped up. Oh, Pereira, nicely done. Finish it. There it is. Sweaty goal, boys and girls. It's a sweaty goal. But Medrin, the youngster, comes through and puts it in the back of the net. And their keeper's a little bit disbelief. It was a great one, too, between Medrin and Pereira. Pereira just laid it off, and Medrin continued his run into the back of the net. Nice, easy finish. Oh, no. Nearly got it on frame there. That was close. There's a headed effort. Just went wide. That falls right to Baressa, and there is a halftime whistle. It's a rainy night here in Rome, but the action is uh, all but sloppy. We've got a nice goal there for, for between Pereira and Medrin. 1-0 at the break. Oh, no, he's run right through, and that's a goal. Ah, my defender's let off there, and it's in the back of the net. Great, great build up there. They just went right through the D and found the back of the net. Oh, nice move by Kreko. He's around him. Finish it. Oh, Kreko! Trying to go far post and he missed. He was through on goal. Had to keep her beat, but just the wrong side of the post. Oh! Pereira with the volley shot. Just off target. Ugh, so close. Rostin, get rid of it. Wow, what a goal. That was a great goal right there. Great cross in by Kubo. And he just hit it on the underside of the crossbar and in. That's a goal. Vincus was trying to head it away. He shouldn't have jumped for it. I don't know why he didn't. Just stood there. Oh, he's taken down in the box. That's a penalty. And that's probably a red card as well. No, the referee just gives him a warning. Oof. Lombardi was just making a move, and he just got completely taken out. And a barbo finishes it. Great finish. He went to the right, keeper went the opposite way, and into the back of the net, and we're back level. Oh, the shot, Bressa. No, it's a handball into the back of the net. And that's an own goal. I don't know why he just jumped. It should have been a foul. That should have been a foul. Oh, oh well. And there's the final whistle. A very exciting match. The second half was very wide open. Couldn't really get much. Credit young boys that came in and got a win. We just cannot win at home. It's world class. I can't win at home. <laughs> That's the bottom line. The own goal was the difference. Taking a look at the stats. Possession, it was a very even match, pretty much. Uh, young boys definitely had the edge there, but just all around, very even. Uh, just a shame we gave up that own goal, really. It's just a bit of unluckiness there. But uh, that's the way these matches go sometimes. I mean, uh, second team did pretty well, I thought. And your man of the match goes to Kreko. <laughs> <laughs> the youngster who's been uh, kind of not played well at all this season, but uh, he definitely did all right today. Uh, Pereira is the only one I had an assist. But 9.4 rating, he played really well.
But we're going to wrap the episode up there, guys. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Ice Reaper 31, and I'll see you around.